Back over to TJ. And there's a chance that one of us knows someone down here at Narragansett Town Beach. Once again, it is packed. It's uh, low tide, it looks like, so plenty of space on the beach for a lot of people today. Yeah, loads of people there on the beach. They're getting a lot of clouds right now, but I think they're going to be staying dry through the rest of the afternoon. But it's warm and humidity is actually dropping a little bit. Been a long time since so we've been able to say that. Here's New Bedford. We got a little bit more in the way of sunshine for now, but the clouds will take over there. Easton's Beach in Newport. And there's a fair amount of people there on the right hand side of your screen right in there. We got a wind now coming in off of the water and a lot of uh, haze and clouds in the sky there. Live radar, I'm not tracking anything in our area, but it's kind of zoom out a little bit. We do have some showers passing south of Block Island, some thunderstorms south of uh, Long Island, and most of this is going to pass well off to our south. However, certainly can't rule out a passing shower. And I think the best chance for that would probably be down near the coastline. Our threat tracker for today, though, is generally pretty quiet. In fact, improving conditions over the next 24 hours as I mentioned earlier, we're kicking out all that wildfire smoke and the haze that is in the sky today. Tomorrow will be a little bit bluer. The sky will be. And uh, we're also looking at less humid air moving in. Friday right now, generally pretty quiet, but there could be some showers and a couple of thunderstorms in the area. So we'll talk about that in a second. Upper 70s to mid 80s at the moment. 80 in Providence over in New Bedford. A little bit more in the way of sun. A little warmer. Same for Taunton. They're at 84 degrees. Satellite radar picture again showing that cluster of showers, thunderstorms to our south. It's associated with this front that's come on by during the morning hours. Out ahead of it, that Florida-like humidity, and behind it, some uh, less humid air sinking into southern New England, and it'll be around for a little bit. It won't be quite as humid over the coming days, so some good news there. Let's take a look at the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. We will have this air area of cloudiness passing on by for the next several hours, and outside of a spot shower, I think we're generally dry, but again, best chance for a shower would be down near the south coast and perhaps Block Island. During the evening, our skies are clearing out. The uh, haze will be getting out of here as well. Tomorrow morning, starting off with partly cloudy skies. We might actually have a nice sunrise tomorrow morning for a change. Uh, and then in the afternoon, a blend of clouds and sunshine. Just a slight chance of a shower developing in the afternoon, but I think most of the day will be dry with a, a southeasterly wind and a fair amount of sunshine for today. We'll have partial hazy sunshine, small chance of a shower. Temperatures inland about 84 at the coastline, about 80, 81 degrees. Now for tonight, partly cloudy, a little bit less humid. Uh, temperatures bottoming out in the mid 60s outside of the city. Uh, we might actually find some spots uh, hitting the uh, low 60s late in the night. Here's your seven day forecast. Warm, dry tomorrow, about 84. Shower, maybe an isolated thunderstorm on Friday. Not terribly widespread. And I'm thinking Saturday and Sunday still looking good. Partly sunny skies both days. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Full forecast always at WPRI.com. But looking okay for the rest of the afternoon. Just some extra clouds.